Secure the M20 back in place, all you have to do is take out this case itself and then to put it back directly opposite of how we actually place it in. Alright, so just lined up properly, make sure that both ends are lined up properly and gently just close it up so that both ends actually go in properly. Alright, so once you've done that properly, it should sit well as you can see over here. Okay, so the first thing that we will actually do is to put back this pistol grip mount area properly. Take the two uh, small screws that you can see, put them back in and you can actually start uh, putting back them in place. Another screw here. And we could actually put the pistol grip now. So this pistol grip actually goes here into it first. Uh, secure the M4 screw first into the pistol grip area. And then secure the M6 screw. Okay, this should actually be very firm and nice inside. Then put back the cap. Let me find that screw. Alright. Next one is to actually put back all the rest of the screws that you see over here. Okay, let me just take this out properly first. Okay, so this screw goes here. Make sure the other side you have a nut, all right? A screw and a nut. Same goes for here, a screw and a nut. So do all that for all the holes that you can find, screw and a nut. Screw and nut. last one here ok 
Okay, so once that is done already, uh, we also have the top. Now the top itself, we'll be using these uh, uh, nuts to actually secure. Let me just move it here so you can see. Inside here, the T-nut is already quite well fixed, so I don't have to do much. Put it here and just turn it in. Same goes for this one. Now as you can see these three actually the T-nuts came off alright so these are actually called T-nuts the T-nuts actually you have to slide it in from the back and what I do is actually I put my allen key here just to stop it from sliding all the way so put it from the back and just lift it up and the T-nut will actually come here to be in place so just adjust it into the center and use this screw to screw it on Okay, same goes for the other two end holes over here. And the last one here. Okay, so we actually have exam assembled the uh, M20. You can actually also tighten these two screws which we have released just now to remove the linear guides. And also please remember, all blasters will actually come with a zero plate. I don't have mine here, it's because this is just a demo set, but there's a zero plate with two screws that you also need to remove. Okay, so to pull back the spring is pretty straightforward. Uh, the spring actually goes in. And please make sure that your two M5 nuts over here are actually placed properly at the back end of these two areas. Now if you can see, there is actually a threaded rod that comes out from here. Okay, So you actually have to hold it properly uh, before you put in this plate. All right? Everything has to be done in one proper order. All right? So just put this here. Let's position it properly, okay, and take this plate and you can start pushing it in with your hand, right? Make sure everything is lined up nicely, you can actually start securing these two first. Now again, there is tension, so make sure that uh, you are holding it well with your hand. Same goes for this side. For the top, we actually have to put it. Uh, put the last screw there. So once you're done, just make sure the plate is properly aligned, and just tighten everything. Okay. Well, just hand tight. No need to be extremely tight. And to put back the butt, is actually the uh, direct opposite of what we have done just now. Alright, so we can actually pull this a little bit out first to make sure that both of them are aligned. Alright, all you have to do is slot this butt through. And you can see here, just position it in place. And get those screws that you have removed and just screw it back on. Same goes for this one. 